Celebrating 10 seasons with Jeff and Jen. Mornings on Q102, live from the Moreline Lager House. Ladies and gentlemen, after, what, it's been 10 years, I guess, since the last Matchbox 20 album, not only was it the first album to hit number one, it debuted at number one from Very the album nice. North from Matchbox 20, Kyle Cook and Rob Thomas. Yay! Yeah, this is our last uh, radio gig before Christmas, so we're, we're going we're gonna to milk it. Nice. Well, as long it. as you guys give us airtime and then probably after. We're here for you, baby. You got it. Say yeah. hey, 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 you want her, but she's so mean. You never let her go. Why don't you let her go? Yeah, hey, you want her, but she's so mean. You never let her go. Why don't you let her go? Who are we singing about? <laughs> singing about us last night actually yeah. <laughs> um, we got very seasonally intoxicated last night we heard you got into town was, last I night you, i love that seasonally intoxicated, seasonally intoxicated. Yeah. it makes it seem like I, everybody knows what i'm talking yeah, about yeah it's different it's different it's different than drunk because like if you're drunk in in july you're just drunk yeah. but if it's if it's christmas time it's, it's seasonal it's a festive it's a festive no, we're, we were festive last night <laughs> what was different about making this album than the other ones the idea of us getting back in the cabin and kind of, we were, we were cooking dinner for each other. We'd get up in the morning and we were sort of, you know, uh, all intimately together, intimately, <laughs> making music and kind of getting back to the roots of what we did <laughs> in the first place. I knew he was going to do that. Kyle's going to, uh, for touching, those of you man. listening, he's getting a little neck rub for Rob right now. <laughs> How so does he hot. smell, Rob? So <laughs> he smells like angels farting. <laughs> <laughs> She thinks that happiness is a map that sits on her doorway We're here but outside it stopped raining yeah, She says, baby It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely It's a lot of fun to be sitting where we're sitting and having the same view as you guys of I'm the I'm not going to lie, it's more fun to be where we are. Oh yeah, you, you're winning, absolutely, without a doubt. But watching the reaction yeah. in their faces, yeah. I mean, you know for a lot of women in the crowd, it, it looked like a religious experience. I, like, I, had, I had this moment, like, during this, I was sitting here and I'm just like, as I'm singing, I'm going, do I really like my job? You know, like, I like that I get this, like, I love playing music. We, yeah, we, we have to be drinking to do more impromptu jams. Can we get these guys a drink, please? Yeah. Oh, look at that. They got you a drink and everything. Uh, it's a, is that a flaming mimosa? Why is it on fire? Hey! So maybe let me hold you, baby. Let me come over. I will tell you secrets. God only knows I cannot overstay here. Everybody seen the video to Overjoyed? You hear the song, but then when you see the video, does it add like a whole other dimension to it about growing old together? I, at least that's how it impacted me. No, I'm, you know, I'm glad you picked that up. Like that was you know, our main. You know, we, we went through a lot of edits of that, and the whole idea of the video, we wanted to make sure that you got across without anybody telling you that by the time you watch the end of it, that you realize that that couple is all of those couples through the years. Like we we actually shot it in the same studio that they did Star Wars. Oh really? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, they actually built. It was the first time. It was one of those moments where you're like. I'm actually paid to do this because we're like in the studio. They built a carnival. Well, we, used, we, yeah, we, used the, we used the and carousel so from that movie Hugo. Right, right. Yeah. And, and we're, so we're riding bumper cars around and they hadn't got the shot yet. So it's like, can you do that one more time? And I'm like, yeah, we I'm can. Like, so it's like, I should get, I'm incredibly overpaid to be riding <laughs> to bumper be right. cars right now. <laughs> but if you, you know, haven't seen the video, see the video. Yeah, over choice it's on something the happens like when, I, when, it, when we became parents, we became mushy. You know, like, when, you, when you're young, like when we first started out, we're in our 20s and we're in a band and we're just like, it's rock and roll all day long. And then, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, you, you have kids and you're like, let's make a sweet video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I wrote, um, I wrote this song with Mick Jagger. I say that because I'm name dropping. <laughs> but when he called me, so I get, I get this message, you know, it's like, beep, you know, hey, Rob, it's Mick. So I'm thinking, you know, so... 
so I, I kept that message on my phone for like a year, right? <laughs> because it's, it was Mick Jagger on my, on my voicemail. And I would like, I would just have it. And then like when I would have friends come over, then I would just come up and I'd be like, oh, let me check my messages. <laughs> like, Beep. Hey, Rob, it's Mick. I was thinking, I was like, oh, Mick again. Oh. <laughs> so I feel really bad. Like right now there are people in their work and cars listening to us ramble. No, on. you know what? They love it. And, and by the way, after we're stick around because there'll be like a little Jeff and Jen after the show. So if you can hang out, please do. Keep and your butts in your seats. We're all going to get naked. Yeah. <laughs> Except you. You got to go. <laughs> that look was priceless. Right? <laughs> how, old, how old are you, hon? Seven? seven. So, so I got a seven-year-old here doing this the whole time. <laughs> if a look ever said as if. Look at no, she's it doing was, it. She's doing it right now. Like, how old are you singing? Seven. <laughs> you're not you're not one direction, mom. You lied to me. <laughs> Are you having... How famous do we have to be for you to turn your phone off? More famous than this. We're not One Direction, I get it. I'm free of my disease. Hell, yeah, well, free of this disease. Set me free of this disease. Oh, yeah. Rob Thomas and Kyle Cook of Matchbox 20.